Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. My name's Jodie Lakin and today I am going to be doing some Disney journaling, yay! <laughs> In my traveller's notebook. Um, so this is my current traveller's notebook. I don't know why I say current because it's the only one that I own. This is currently how it looks, I should probably say. Um, <laughs> I have a couple of patches on there. Um and a little uh, tag as well. And um, yeah, I use this traveler's notebook obviously for if I go anywhere, but also you can see there I have a little list book. Um, so this book I have, I have journaled every trip that I have taken to Tokyo Disney since I've been in Japan, I believe. Um, I might have even done trips that I have had before I came to Japan because we went to Tokyo Disney one time before I actually was living in Japan um but I've been in Japan for uh this will be my fourth year and <laughs> yeah as you can see I just love Tokyo Disney and I like to uh remember the memories from the day in this little book which I've absolutely loved doing um this one also this page I also did on my channel so you can go and look at that if you want to um I will link that below so the trip that I'm going to journal today actually was back in 20 2019 it was um april 2019 and it was such a magical magical time it was actually my mother and father-in-law that came over to visit us and they'd never been to japan before they'd never been on a disney trip either so it was really really special and magical and um i, I believe this was the first thing that we did when they arrived or it might have been the last I think it was the first though. <laughs> um, so you can imagine their excitement when they arrived into Japan and this was the first thing we did. Um, so I just want to show you some of the leaflets as well because it was Easter time and this is probably my favourite time I've visited um, Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea because they had this amazing, amazing Easter theming, and I really love like pastel colors, and everything was like these beautiful pinks and purples and um, blues, yellows, and just like I just absolutely loved the coloring. And I also really liked the special theming that they had at the park. So they actually introduced two new characters to Disneyland and Disney Sea. Um, so the first one was Usapio, which is a conjoined word, Japanese word of Usagi, which is rabbit, and Pio, which is the sound that a chick makes. Pio, Pio, like that. <laughs> and then the other character was Usatama, which is a conjoined Japanese word of usagi again rabbit and tama which is egg and these two characters were just really really fun um i think disneyland had the u uh usatama and the story behind that was that they were made in the tune factory and if you actually went into the tune factory they had all the eggs with the rabbit ears like hanging up and going around the factory as if they were being made um which is really special like I don't think I realized at the time that that was not a regular feature <laughs> but um so it was really cool they had these rabbits everywhere and the idea was they were being created in the tomb factory and they just escaped into Disneyland so they were like everywhere um so I decided to draw this little rabbit the little Usatama um here and I also am doing the title now, which I've um, titled Family Trip, which was really obviously special and um, something I'd never done before was take my family, family members to uh, Disneyland so, or Disney Sea. So that was really fun. So we actually did manage to go in both parks, like I said. So the other character that was in Disney Sea, um, this character was a little chick with rabbit ears you'll see that I have a, um, a sticker of it uh, in a minute that I'll put at the bottom of the page um, but the story behind this character was that Minnie and Daisy were painting little chicks on eggs and to their surprise they came to life <laughs> the eggs cracked open 
and inside with these little chicks and they're very very cute and I remember actually I couldn't get hold of any merchandise because it sold out sold out so fast and I really wanted one of these little chicks on a keychain or something like that I, I like to collect maybe one or two things when I visit the park each time just to remember that specific trip um, but they had sold out of most of the things <laughs> with the these characters on because I believe it was the first year they'd done them and um, they were, everyone was very excited about it, as you can imagine. Um, so anyway, back to the journal. So I'm using a traveler's notebook insert, which is specifically a water color insert watercolor paper insert and I just love using this one um it's obviously I can use any sort of medium on it and it doesn't crinkle I use stickers it's really it can really be bulked out um and it still actually stays quite flat as you could see when I was flipping through it I've actually filled quite a lot of it out already I think I probably have three page spreads left and this is going to be one of my favorite books that I ever look through. Um, and also, you know, we only do two days in the park usually. So um, you can do like one page spread for each day or you can do a double page spread like this for both days combined, which is what I did here. Um, so for the background, I like because obviously Disney is very colorful and there's stuff everywhere I like to make sure that the pages look very full and that was my inspiration for this page I wanted it to look very very full and chaotic because that's kind of <laughs> this particular trip was like every, every it was just stuff everywhere like there was so much to look at and they had easter egg hunts and things like that and the parade itself was probably my favorite parade I'd seen as well it was just the whole thing was just very fun and energetic and lively and obviously this was back in 2019 where there was no there was no restrictions or anything in place and the park was at full capacity which when it was a nice spring day and obviously it was also cherry blossom season which um, lots of tourists come to Japan during cherry blossom season to see the blossom so it was a very uh, busy time but it was so so magical and actually looking back on it now it feels like that won't ever be the same again like that kind of thing so it's um it's it's now it feels like a very unique experience to visit somewhere and not have uh, those restrictions in place so that's kind of why I wanted the pages to feel very full and very busy and uh, that's why I also did this colorful background I really like to start off having uh, colors in the background so I did this kind of uh, washy painterly look in the background uh, nothing too distracting just like a blurry colorful image in the back and I did this kind of typical Disney uh, family where it says family trip just this typical Disney um, writing which is just the kind of block <laughs> the block writing and I didn't want to actually cut up any of the um the leaflets that I had because I only have one of them and as I opened them and was looking through them I actually just enjoyed I enjoyed that part so much and it brought back so many memories that I thought it would be a shame to cut them up um, but the one thing I did use was this little <laughs> sticker of the Usapio because it just <laughs> it just looks so sweet in the bottom corner there. Um, and I wanted to at least put one thing from from uh, from the day in there. And that was actually an Easter hunt that you could do. So you walked around the park and you saw um, the pose that the models were in. They had like these little... Uh, the chick models everywhere and you had to put the correct sticker of the pose in the correct location so you had to go and find the chick and say it was in it, had, it was wearing sunglasses or something you would put that sticker um, on your book where you saw that that location and then at the end I think you could be entered into a lottery or something like that um, but we didn't really have well you could have time for it but that wasn't really what we were there for we wanted to like go on the rides and see the parades and things like that um and also I just kind of wanted to keep it for myself because <laughs> it had stickers in there uh so 
as you can see, I've printed lots of little pictures there. I have stuck stickers over just to kind of protect the identity a little bit of my family members. I'm not 100% sure that they would want to be on video, so <laughs> so that's why I've done that. Um, but these photos were printed on my little Polaroid zip, and um, actually they very kindly sent me another one because my last one... Uh, was not doing great I don't know if the cold affects it here in Japan as you know it's very cold and summer is very hot but they very kindly sent me a new one so that was all good and I've uh, used that to print off these little pictures here I would like to buy like a big printer but obviously I'm currently living in Japan but I won't be here for much longer so I don't want to invest in a printer <laughs> when I know I'll be leaving in a few months anyway uh, so um, actually I, I really like Easter too, just to point out, because it's very close to my birthday and um, I just always think about Disney, this particular Tokyo Disney, very special in my heart because I came here for the first time on my 25th birthday and I remember me and Jack were kind of standing in Tokyo Disney Sea at night time after the fireworks and the lights were you know quite low and the music was playing and and I know it's all meant to make you feel a certain way but we'd had it was the last day of our trip and we'd had such an amazing incredible time in Japan and um, it just really opened our eyes to the world it was the first time we'd actually been to Asia um, and it's the furthest that we'd traveled as well and it just we we spoke that day about actually moving to Japan and we not only visited um obviously Tokyo Disney but we uh we went to all different areas in Japan in the two weeks that we were here uh, we were absolutely exhausted <laughs> um but we'd never visited anywhere so magical and um yeah and this was the very last thing that we did so um it's a very special to me and now I'm I'm still in Japan and I will be turning 30 this year which obviously is a very special birthday um so yeah it's just nice to go full circle I think and to realize the things that you wanted five years ago that you've achieved is just a really really satisfying feeling and um it all started with this little trip to Disney so <laughs> so that's why it's so special to me I think and um yeah I came for Disney and I stayed for Japan so <laughs> so yeah so then I'm just coming to the end of my uh my journal in here and I've been I've just stuck lots of little things in there little stickers that I've picked up from Tokyo Disney before um stickers that I just have and I've bought here in Japan and I also have a little label there from a Shelley Mae that I bought um from Tokyo Disney and um and then I'm just adding because I, I like I said I wanted it to feel very full and cluttered so that is the look that I'm going for here <laughs> so I'm filling in every little space I have with a sticker and then I, I've left that space in the middle there to do a little bit of journaling um I also have some washi tape that I'm sticking on there and everything so just making it look very full and very colorful and very exciting which is exactly how it felt it was very magical and to have um, my family come over to uh, Japan as well to visit us it was just so so special and they absolutely loved the trip too and they still talk about it to this day like remember when we did this remember when we did this so it's just a really really special memory that I will never ever forget um so yeah so that is the end of this video I really hope that you enjoyed it um I cannot wait to flip this journal for you on YouTube I still have a few more pages to do in it and I still have a few more trips to journal about as well. So, but that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching. And thank you so much for all your lovely comments recently. They've really, really been making my day. Um, so yeah, <laughs> thank you everyone for subscribing and supporting this channel. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, have a lovely week and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video. Take care everybody. Bye.